Hey guys, this is Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to name acids. More specifically, how to name oxy acids. Oxy acids are acids that contain an oxygen. They generally have the form H, X, in which X is another element, and then O. Include a couple examples here. You can see all of these contain an H, another element, and then an, and an oxygen. You can have multiple H's and you can have multiple oxygens as well. Sometimes the oxy acids can contain multiple other elements as well, but this is the most common form. To name oxy acids, I've, I've indicated the rules here in blue, and we're gonna work through these examples following the rules, and then by the end of this, you'll know exactly how to name oxy acids. So first example, HClO3. First step is to separate the acid into two parts, the H part, and then the polyatomic ion part. Then you're gonna, I've, I've included a list of the most common polyatomic ions here. Double check if you need to memorize this list or if your teacher's gonna provide it on the quiz or test. But then once we're gonna find the polyatomic ion, ClO3, which is chlorate, and you can see it ends in ATE. So if it ends in ATE, we're gonna replace it with IC. Instead of chlorate, it's gonna become chloric, and then we just add acid at the end of it. Next example, H2SO4, separated the two components, the H component and then the polyatomic ion component. SO4, let's find that SO4 is uh, sulfate. Again, you see it ends in ATE, so that means we're going to replace that with IC. So it, it should become sulfic, but this is one of the exceptions. And so instead of sulfic, it actually becomes sulfuric and then acid. So there's two main exceptions of when you're working with sulfate and sulfite, they become sulfuric and sulfurous, and then uh, when you're working on a phosphate, it becomes phosphoric. I don't know why, but those are the most common exceptions. Next one is not, this is not no exception, so next one is HNO2. Separate it into your two components, your H component, and then your polyatomic ion component, NO2. Let's see what NO2 is. It's nitrite, so now it ends in ITE. So if it ends in ITE, we're going to replace it with OUS. Instead of, so instead of nitrite, it's going to become nitrous acid. And then that, that's it. So the first two examples, we took the formula, we turned it into the name. The ne next two examples, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to have the name, and then we're going to turn it into the formula. So here, next example is phosphoric acid. Uh, so it ends in, en ends in IC. Uh, which means it originally had ATE, so it was originally going to be phosphate. And remember, that was one of the one of the exceptions. was so phosphate. We just write um, the formula for phosphate, which is PO for three minus. And then because it's an acid, we know there's going to be H in front. H has a positive one charge. We check whether the charges cancel out or not, and you can see they don't. Positive one does not cancel out. Negative three. So if they don't cancel out, then we can do the crisscross method. So we can crisscross the the superscript and make it the subscript, and so it becomes H three P O four. The three becomes the subscript of the H, and then the one becomes the subscript of the P O four. We don't need to write that. All right, last example: is chlorous acid. So let's see, it ends in O U S, meaning originally was I T E. So originally was chlor. Right. So let's see what chlorite is. It's ClO2 minus. And then because it's an acid, we know there's going to be an H component in front. And then you can see H plus and ClO2 minus. They're going to cancel out positive one, cancel out the negative one, making it neutral. So then the formula is just going to be HClO2. And that's it. That's how you name um, oxy acids. It really just comes down to knowing this rule that if it ends in a if your anion ends in ATE, you're in place of IC, and then if it ends in ITE, you're in place of OUS. And then the main exceptions were remember sulfate and sulfite. These become sulfuric and sulfurous, and then phosphate becomes phosphoric. Other than that, everything else is standard. Hopefully, this video helped. Um, if you that was helpful. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be posting about ton, tons of video that's going to help you chemistry and help you conquer chemistry. And if you liked my teaching style and you're interested in individual tutoring, check out www.
conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring. And I'm going to include a link in the description below. So you can just click on it. Yep, keep practicing and I'll see you next time.